Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be checking out some more of the coolest creations on the workshop. So, let's get to it. Alright, for our first one, we have the Bustin' Nuts Drift Car V8. Very interesting username, by the way. But uh, it's got some very cool, well, standard controls. Let's just bring it out and see if we can drift. Look at the shaping on this thing. It's got like three layers to it, and they just kind of just fold down into each other and... That makes a really cool looking car. Wow. All right. So we can drift. We can indeed. Oh, it's a little wobbly. Okay. This might take some practice, guys. Oh, that was pretty clean. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm actually quite enjoying this. All right. Oh, no. I broke something. No. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, we got a, we got a radio. We have the, we have the horn and lights. There you go. Okay. Pretty cool. And we also have one more key bind, which is on the mouse. Oh, right. <laughs> you can fold it out for some reason. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but uh, okay. Let's take this onto the mainland. I really want to test out my skills here. All right, let's do some drifting. Let's go. Oh, we're, oh okay. Uh-oh. All right, we're back on the road. There's some kind of like collision going on or something that keeps making the bottom end of the car bounce up like this. Whoa, like what is even happening there? Okay, I just think there's some weird physics glitching going on, which is making those problems. But as a drift car, I mean, hey, look at that drift. If you control it, it's a pretty sweet ride. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm having too much fun. Well, thank you for that creation. Let's move on to the next one. All right, up next, we have the N64 Starfighter V2 by the Turtle Goat 1. So this is a modified N1 Naboo Starfighter, which is from Star Wars, I believe. Let's just spawn it in. Whoa, look at this thing. Look at the decal. And we got a little droid too. Okay, shift is a camera. Okay, there's a camera view. So it's powered by like the, um, the hover pad glitch. Okay, I, I need to take off. There we go. Whoa, it's actually flying. Nice. It actually feels like I'm flying a Star Wars ship right now. Well, I am flying a Star Wars ship. That's why. So what does Q do? Q drops bombs. This has bombs. Nice. E is the rocket. That's the minigun, of course. Oh, G is to turn off the hover. I don't want to do that because I'll fall. Wow, I am super impressed by this. It looks amazing, and not only that it looks amazing, it flies amazing as well. Is there any wing pieces on this? I don't think there's a single modular wing on this creation. So it's literally just flying with momentum and the, um, the hover pad glitch, where you have a block on top of a hover pad. It makes a weird floaty effect. It wouldn't be a true Naboo Starfighter if I couldn't do some cool stunts. Let's do something crazy. Let's fly through a hoop of fire. Oh no, oh no, go down, go down. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, and into the cliff we go. Well, this is super cool. The way I'm just hovering right now, I'm not even pressing anything. So hang on, let me just let go of the controls. I'm just hovering. It's a genuine Star Wars creation. Super cool, dude. All right, up next, we have the Model 4 Free 0A Morus by Okimi Mashu, or Okami, if I pronounce that right. <laughs> and yes, so it is a World War II plane. So I'm gonna spot, wow. Look at this thing. Look at the detail. I like how he's done like the glass effect here with a decal on as well. That is so cool. All right, well, let's move to the aircraft carrier because there is a ton of controls we need to learn right now. All right, so we have your controls, pitch controls, uh, roll controls, and that's to shoot. Okay, space is to shoot. Oh, shift is to go. And then I believe G is the gear. Yeah, landing gear is in. There's so many controls on this thing. We got lights with L. Ah, there you go. I found it. Rockets are on N. And then bombs are on M. Wow, that's a lot of bombs as well. I didn't even know this thing had bombs. It's covered up with shields, look. Oh no, there you go. I see them. Pretty cool. He's also done like the favorite thing that I like to do is have an odd width tail on an even width cockpit. So that's already points up in my books. Let's fly over these trees. You know what? We're going to bomb these trees. There you go. Yes, we just blew up a forest. All right, well, I'm going to see if I can land this. Oh, I can <laughs> I put myself in a flat spin. I think there may be some helicopter engine assisting here with the roll and the, the pitch. 
But that's fine. Here we go. We're coming in for landing, boys. Kill the engines. There we go. Easy does it. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> okay. That could have been a lot worse, but we actually landed this thing. All right, Okami. This is a very impressive World War II plane indeed. I just love the general look of this thing. It looks amazing. Oh, and there's also... It's a two-seater plane. I just realized... Oh, and you can fold the wings in. What? This is... Okay. <laughs> Very cool. That's a 10 out of 10 right there for a World War II plane. Very impressive. Okay, what do we have next? We have the Model 454 Owner Bill Sky Crane, also by Okami. So there's two of his builds featuring in this video today. They just look really cool. When I see them on the workshop, they just have such a nice look to these builds. So this one here is some kind of helicopter. Very big helicopter. Wow, look, there's so many controls. Why is there so many controls? Okay, I can drive, I can taxi on the runway. I notice there's a magnet underneath. Shift is to go, all right. Space is to go up. We're, we're figuring this out very slowly, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> I'm assuming Q and, oh, it's, I thought it was your controls. It's not your, it's strafing. We can strafe the helicopter. G, I don't know what G is supposed to be. I have no idea. I'm pressing them. Nothing's happening. J? It feels like the helicopter is raising and lowering altitude to what I press. So J is lowering me. I think what this is is controlling the speed of the rotors. Okay, that's interesting. L N is a camera. And M is a magnet. And then finally 1 and 2. Oh, those are the doors. <laughs> All right, let me just backspace here. Now I have the gist of what this thing can do. I feel like I'm able to uh, look. We don't even need the freaking props. What? I guess this thing is so heavy that he needed to use gimbal jets. All right, there we go. I'm doing a roly poly now. All right, okay. Not very fast, but um, it's a very chunky helicopter. And I think this thing is just for like picking things up with the magnet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over to the docks over here. Okay, we are getting into position. Let's get our magnet ready. This is looking good. This is actually looking good. No way. Yes, we actually picked up a crate. I didn't think I was going to do that. And that's kind of perfect. Oh, wait, there's a brick. Okay, well, I just ruined it. No. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Pretty cool second creation there by Okami. All right, moving on to our final build for today. We have the Bowser Gao or Bowser Gies Monster Hunter revamp. So this creature or ornithopter is from the Monster Hunter franchise. It looks terrific. It looks really cool. There's a bunch of controls. Important to take off, press G, then space. Okay. Make sure I have that in mind. So let's spawn it in. Wow, would you look at this thing? Look at the detail. With the textures and the decals combined. That's so impressive. All right, so let's hop in. So G first and then space. And that's a very fluid flapping animation. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think, I think I'm going down here because I broke something. You know what? We're good, we're good. Uh, what does one do? Oh, it's just like a, a cool sound. It makes a scary sound. <laughs> and oh, okay. Well, it, it drops bombs as well. So what happens if we don't press G before we take off? Ah, I see. <laughs> that is flying like a useless chicken now. All right, so you definitely need to press G. Okay, let's go. We, we can do this. Yeah, there we go. I'm flying. A mythical creature from Monster Hunter. It's wanting to really pitch itself up a lot. This is fine. I can drop my bombs. It's not the most amazing at steering. I won't lie to you guys. <laughs> oh no! Wow, this has just become an episode of me crashing things today. Let's just face towards the island. There we go. We'll face towards the island. We'll give it one more flight. And then uh, let's see if I can land it on the island. Here we go. Taking off. I'm putting all of my faith in this creature right now. Oh, no. Oh, why are we turning to the right? No. Okay. Stop the flapping. Okay. We don't even... We don't need to keep flapping all the time, it seems. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just want to get to the island. 
Please, no, don't go. Come on, flap your wings. All right, nice, nice. Just get to the beach. No, it's, what is it doing? Guys, guys, oh, damn it. <laughs> it looks amazing. It doesn't function as well as it could do, but I mean, it's, I think this guy has gone for form over function anyway. So uh, either way, this is still a really cool build. And this one is by Pixelotl. This one has to be my favorite for today. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me do some more workshop hunting, definitely leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.